I'm sure that uh, anyone uh, with half a brain can uh, figure out how to get the Autodesk 3ds Max application installed. Just pretty simple. Follow the basic recommendations and install it. What we're going to show you first and start out with is the Fallout Mod Manager by Timeslip. Uh, again, that's at fallout3.nexusmods.com backslash mods backslash 640. Uh, you're going to click on the Files button, and once you're in the Files button, you want the new FOMM. This is all you need right here. You don't need the old one. You just need the new one. Uh, just go ahead and uh, click Download Manually. Uh, it takes a second, goes through its little process, and then says it's downloading the file. And as soon as it downloads the file, we're just going to click Run. Uh, give it a second and now we're just going to install it. We're going to click I accept the agreement. It's going to ask us where are we putting it. I'm going to put mine in E because I already have this installed so I'm just showing you how to install it. So just do the standard C uh, drive. Uh, okay then I click Next, Fallout Mod Manager Next. I'm going to create a desktop icon. Click Next and install it. Now let's install the program and we're going to launch it. Now it's asking me what game do I want to use. Well, let's do uh, Fallout New Vegas. Well, it's saying, well, where is it? Okay, now here's the tricky part. Now we want to use this with Skyrim and not with Fallout 3. So what we have to do is trick this program into think it's accessing Fallout 3. You don't have to have Fallout 3. You just need to have Skyrim and then trick this into thinking you have Fallout 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize. And we're going to go into our Skyrim directory. To do that, you would click here. You'd go to your C drive where you have uh, Skyrim installed. Then I'm going to find Program 86, Steam. Scroll through my 40 million applications. Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, and right in here is what you're going to do. Now, see, I have Fallout New Vegas in my Skyrim directory. How did I get that? Well, that's very simple to do. All you're going to do is you're just going to take the TESV. This is the EXE for Skyrim. You're going to hit Control-C. You're going to hit Control-V. Now we have a copy of it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this copy and we're just going to right-click it, click Rename, and we're going to change the name to Fallout NV. All lowercase, no spaces, just F-A-L-L-O-U-T-N-V. And then just click somewhere on the screen and it'll save that. Okay? Since I've already done it, I'm just going to delete this. Now, we click back on Select the Working Directory and we're going to find it. We're going to go like this and we're going to do the same process. We're going to go to Computer, C, Program 86, Steam, then you're going to find the Steam Apps, Common, and right in here all you got to do is just click Skyrim because this is where it is. See Skyrim and then we got our Fallout NV uh, was in here, right here. So we're just going to tell it's in Skyrim. Click OK and then click OK. Oh, well. Somehow, this program now thinks we have Fallout, but we don't. Now it's just asking we where's our mod directory, where's our install info. We can just leave these alone. You don't really have to mess with this. Uh, it's standard. It'll create these folders itself. And then just click Finish. Uh, it's just don't even worry about that. It's saying we don't have it in any file. Not important. <laughs> Freaked me out. All right, now once we get in here, now we see we have all our ESMs and all that. None of this is really what we want. What we want to do is go to the BSA browser, which is located in Tools. So you click Tools, click BSA browser, this little window. This is our home. This is heaven. This lets us extract every mesh in the game. And to do that, we're going to click Open. Uh, it's going to pull up the Skyrim data folder. Should. If it doesn't, just get to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, Data. And right inside the data file, Here's all of our goodies. We have our animations, interface, meshes, miscellaneous shaders, sounds, textures, voices, anything you can think of that you might want to you know, customize. It's all right in here. Uh, and the one we want is Skyrim Meshes. We're just going to click that. We're going to click Open. Ooh, that's a whole lot of NIF files. The great thing about all these NIF files is they're already set up. 
uh, in their own folder structure. So when we extract them, they're all going to remain in their folder structure. Another good thing about this is we know how the data file file structures, uh, the order in which it's going to find this folder. So it's already got the name for us. So once we edit something and we resave it, uh, we know exactly where to put it in the data folder, so the game decides to use that instead of using what's in the BSA file. Uh, we're going to extract everything, so we never have to do this again. So you're just going to click Extract All, and it's going to say, well, where do you want to unpack it to? I created a folder, which you might want to do. Just uh, right-click, click, click uh, New Folder. All right, then once you do that, you're just going to put it right in here. So you're going to, right on the desktop, we're going to find... Skyrim Mesh, which is what I named it, and I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to unpack the archive. This may take a minute, so you got to wait for it to go through the whole process. So, uh, if I had the girl from Enopanema, I'd play that you know little song right now. You know. Oh, sorry, I guess that's probably annoying.